Hey guys, it's Julie Matias with J. Marie Fitness and today's blast is going to be the kettlebell blast. So I've got my kettlebell here. I have a 10 pound. There are several different ones. There's smaller ones, which I would recommend if you're going to do any type of kettlebell workout with a lot of arm workouts for the biceps, triceps, even though we're going to do some of that today. I have a 10 pound that's actually going to be for both arms at the same time. So we're going to work on everything today. Full body blast. You guys ready? Let's go. The first thing that I want you guys to do is do a warm up for about two minutes. I want you to do about, uh, you can do some jumping jacks. I'd like you to do some squats. You guys can do some high knees, just anything to get the blood pumping and the muscles warm and ready to go. Make sure you have a towel and a bottle of water right nearby because that is important to stay hydrated. All right, so we're going to get started on our moves. Let's go. Our first move is going to be kettlebell swings. So what I want you guys to do, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could do this in 10 reps and do three sets of 10 reps for each of the moves we're going to do today. You can time yourself for one minute and just go to town and do as many reps as you can in that one minute. Um, that's what I would recommend because that way you're pushing yourself a little bit more and you're going to get a better workout. All right, so let me just adjust here a little bit. Decided to change it up and do it out by the pool. It was actually a nice day out. All right, so like I said, I have my 10 pound weight right here. I'm going to squat down. I wanna show you guys, you're going to squat down. All the weight needs to stay in your heels when you're doing these kettlebell swings. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and come up to shoulder, back, come up to shoulder. And you're gonna just keep doing this. Again, I want your weight in your heels, your abs tight. Make sure you've got a great grip on this kettlebell. Okay, let's go to our next move. Goblet squats, those are very simple. Again, I want your feet to face forward. You're going to make sure you've got the kettlebell tight in your grip. And you're gonna make sure your abs are tight, your hips are tucked under, okay? And you're just simply gonna squat. Make sure your weight is back in your heels again. And make sure also that when you guys squat, you have your hamstrings parallel 90 degrees to the ground, okay? Like you're sitting back. Make that booty work. Our next move is single leg deadlifts. You can do this if you wanna do a deadlift with the one 10 pound weight or if you've got a 25 pound weight I have downstairs or if you have something bigger, but if you have anything lighter, again, that I have a 10 pound that I use. So you could either do one of two ways. I prefer doing the single leg deadlifts because you're, you're making your body work harder. Your core has to work harder, as well as all the little muscles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand and make sure that your, again, your weight is in the back of your heels, okay? And you're simply going to put your arm out for balance and you're gonna come down to your shin level and come back up. So let me do it this way so you guys can see it. I have to work on my balance, that's for sure. So if you have to touch in the back, you go right ahead. Now, if you were to do a double, a double, all you're gonna do is the same thing, but instead you're simply gonna come down and you're gonna hinge. And you can do it that way as well. At the, the entire time, make sure your tummy is tucked in, your back is nice and straight. I can show you from this side as well. You wanna make sure that your hips are always tucked under and that your belly is in and tucked tight because that's protecting your back, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get on to the next, next move. The upright row. Let's work some upper body. You guys ready? Plant your feet hip width apart. Again, make sure your hips are tucked under, belly is in tight. You're just simply going to row up to about chest height. Chest up. Your back is nice and straight. Your belly's in. And again, I would go for about one minute. But you guys, this is your workout. You go with it. I'm just showing you some moves to do. You could do again, 10 reps each, keep moving, do at least three sets of each move, whole way through or do a minute each. Let's get to our next move, you guys ready? Bicep curls, again, if you do have lighter weights, that works. If you happen to have dumbbells, you'd rather use that for this, you could do that as well. 
I personally have the 10 pound kettlebell and you could do a couple different ways. You can just simply do one at a time. You can alternate if you prefer it that way, but I'd like to burn out the muscle. Now, keep in mind, again, chest up, back straight, belly in. My uh, legs are hip width apart. I wanna keep that elbow close to my ribs as I'm doing this, okay? So you're just simply gonna do a full bicep curl. Now, for this one, I would do 30 seconds each side. Switch, you know, you wanna make both sides even. But you don't wanna have Popeye arms, that's for sure. Okay, so keep doing that, keep going, and let's get on to our triceps. triceps. Overhead dip. Now this one, I wanna make sure that you have a great grip on. So all I've done is I'm grabbing the kettlebell this way, and I'm gonna lift it up over my head. Again, my tummy is tucked, and I'm just gonna go down and squeeze up. I want your elbows kind of going into each other, close together, close to the head. And you're gonna make those triceps really work hard. Okay? So go ahead, keep doing that for about a minute. Squat thrusters, these are some of my favorite moves. I love moves that you can have combos that really burn a lot of calories in that short period of time because you're working multiple muscle groups. And anytime you're working the legs, which is one of the largest muscle groups you've got, you're going to burn a lot more than just doing simple upper body stuff. So let's do both, okay? So again, I'm gonna start hip width apart. Weight's gonna be back in my heels when I go to squat down. I want my hips tucked on, under, my belly tight, chest up, back straight. I'm holding tight onto my kettlebell and I'm just gonna squat down and I'm gonna lift up, squat down, lift up. And I'm just gonna keep doing that for a minute as well. Let me show you from the side. Keep going, you've got this. All right, so let's get some more ab work in here. This is a weighted march, very simple. And again, you could do this with dumbbells. If you guys don't have any kettlebells, you can hold onto the dumbbell and do all these exercises as well, okay? So simple, you're just going to twist and make sure you are twisting side to side with that weight. Get those transverse abs engaged and you're gonna work hard and really trim that belly down. Go for a minute. So, a couple different work workouts we're gonna do for the abs to end this workout is we're going to take this and we're gonna do some weighted sit-ups. You guys ready for this? Let's go. So I'm holding the kettlebell. Hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> I'm holding the kettlebell on my hips and I'm just simply gonna hold it up. I'm laying down. My feet are flat on the ground. Again, my hips are tucked under. I'm sitting up and I'm gonna roll down slowly. Again, go for a minute. Let's get going on this one. This is our last ab move. So Russian twists, a lot of you probably do these again with dumbbells. You could do them with dumbbells. You could do them without any weight at all. If that's what you need to do, that's fine too. All we're gonna do is be in the seated position. Again, I'm tucked under, chest is up, and I'm going to twist. I'm leaning back slightly. So I've got a slight C curve, if you will, in my back. Now you can advance it by having your feet up. And you really wanna make sure you're getting that twist. And just keep going for a minute. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kettlebell workout. It's real simple. There's tons of kettlebell moves out there that you can add on. I might do more um, on this later on, but I wanted to bring you a quick kettlebell blast. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys are drinking your water. You've got your towel, towel off. Um, I'd like you to try to do at least three sets of all of these moves and just keep going. Try for a minute each. If you can only do 30 seconds, hey, that's cool too. Keep working up to that minute. If you prefer to do 10 reps, do that for each move. 
go three times through. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've loved having you here. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you guys next time.